So you guys know what this thing is. This is our incubator. And Sophie got six fertilized duck eggs. At least we hope they're fertilized. And she's gonna hatch them. These are the same kind of ducks that we already have, the same duck that we already have peeking. We wanna try a bunch of different varieties of ducks, but we wanna breed them. So we want to stay with the same breed and we're going to do that with the goose too. But our goose is a mix. So we're going to have to choose one of the mix, one of the things he's mixed with and breed that. I can't wait to show you when we get the goose eggs. Today is the start of spring break for us. So Gabby is home. She <laughs> told me that absolutely is she never getting up before 1030. So she's going to get up. She's going to get up at 1030 today and every day of spring break. <laughs> She likes her sleep. She doesn't get to sleep when she's at school. So when she has to get up early for school. So I agreed. We made a deal. 1030 it is. And poor Sophie has the flu. She woke up with the flu. She threw up twice today. She's not going to let that keep her away from the baby. So she's going to come down with me in just a few minutes. It's actually cold out today. So I'm going to just do some chicken chores. And then we'll meet you guys at the goats. And I'll tell you about who's pregnant now. So the birth of these last babies has really thrown our herd off <laughs> and Rosie is beside herself. She's never been without her mom before and I'm realizing now that is probably a mistake. So the goats have run off and they're in the horse field and <laughs> they're out there looking for their moms. So I thought we'd just take this opportunity to let everybody have a little bit of time outside if they want to go. We have Mocha and her babies if they want to go out. Ellie, he should not have come down. She snuck out. Come on, come on Ellie. You're going to have to go in a stall, unfortunately. Actually, come here. Ellie, come here. Get in there. Oh, she knows. Come on. I cleaned everybody's stall so good today. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. She'll just climb through there. She can't go in this stall because that's the way she is. Oh, you got Look at that. Look how cute. Sorry. Sorry about your luck. You have to stay there. Two mama, go two mama goats and a little dog that likes to fight. Probably not a good idea. Aww. They're coming out. Uh oh. All right. Let's see if that'll hold it. All right, everybody can come out. <laughs> Let's go, hi Hershey. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going out. <laughs> so I slept really well last night finally. And I woke up a couple of times in the night and checked my cameras and everybody seemed like they were doing fine. And then I was down here so early this morning to make sure these guys were okay. So I think I'm gonna have to carry them outside and put them down and then the moms will follow. Sophie said she's gonna come, but she literally barfed twice today. So I'm thinking she's probably not gonna show up. All right, pray for me. So that was hard. Oh. But we have two sets of babies. Be nice. Be nice, Tilly. They're meeting each other's babies. I'm hoping that they're all gonna be kind. So 
I think I, I think I came up with names for my little goats. Other than Ellie screaming, they're having the great time out here and they're all meeting each other. So I'll show you the best looking goat. All right, so I think my names are this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they're loving it. Don't take them out. <laughs> this is like my dream. We just need to add Winston. Oh my gosh, that white one has the bluest eyes. Outside in the sun, everything is so bright. Anyways, my names are, th I think, so I love Teddy, and I, so I love the name Theodore, but I love the name Theo, and I love the name Teddy. So I think I'm gonna use both of those names and call one Teddy and one Theo. Uh-oh, we've got some adventurers. And then I was calling one Oscar this morning. And I think that little orange one, I think the little gold one. Oh, oh my gosh. The chaos with the chaos with Ellie screaming. <laughs> and then coats going everywhere. So I think those are my names. Oscar, Theo, and Teddy. Are you coming down, Sophie? It's adorable. It's literally adorable. I love those names. Sophie hates my name. She's talking to me on the camera. So I'm going to show you which goat I think is confirmationally the best. And I think it's this little teddy here. <laughs> I think he looks so stocky and so wide. He's going to be like Winston. He's going to be like a Winston lookalike. So that little black one is honestly the cutest in confirmation. So I think he's going to be Teddy. I think the orange one, because he kind of had a really grouchy face when he was born, is going to be Oscar. And then Theo is the white one. And, and the white one is my favorite. And it shouldn't be, because he doesn't have the best confirmation. <laughs> Literally, these aren't even 24 hours old yet. And they're like jumping around like crazy boys. And, um... But the white one has the best disposition and he's so cute with those bright blue eyes and how he comes over to me and and the orange one, the gold one is stunning. Just in every single way he's stunning. And I think he's nicer in confirmation than the white one as well. <laughs> but obviously he's annoying. <laughs> I think he's already practicing his humping skills. <laughs> So he's going to be Oscar. So those are my names. Tell me if you think that that's good. Be nice, Tilly. Don't try and drink from her. She might not like it. So that's Mocha's chocolate one. And that one is Harley. <laughs> and I think he's put together better than, than the other one. Mocha is proving to be the worst mom. I mean, she's just really talkative. She's just really talkative to her babies, which is nice. But she's also, like, telling them to be afraid of us and to be scared of us. And Tilly's babies are all three of them as friendly as Winston. They're all, like, super friendly like Winston and easygoing. But this little one is my favorite I, just because of his personality. <laughs> this is a dream for me. Like... Being out here with the moms and the babies just makes me so happy. But see, Tilly takes hers over there so that they can't be near us. Hi, little guy. Hershey, come here, Hershey. So Tilly's babies are the least friendly out of all of the babies. All of these little bucklings. Harley, come here. Come here. So meet our baby goats, you guys. This little black one is called Teddy, and he is stunning. I, I, I love a black goat that's got white on it, and he's trying to hump. <laughs> this is Harley. <laughs> 
So you saw Teddy and Harley. Uh-oh, Mocha, your baby's running away. Go get it. And then that is Theo. And then the gold one in the back there is Oscar. Hi, baby. Hi. Just a, uh-oh. <laughs> she can't keep track of who's who's. Oops. <laughs> it's good for her. She gently told him no. Because at this point, they don't know. They just smell milk. And they're like, I'll have some of that. They don't understand. And she's being really kind to him. <laughs> but look at that little white one. Oh, that little white one is almost the same size as the other one. And they're 24 hours apart. My goodness. This is really good for their mom's mental health to get out too. Don't take them away. Sophie, come down. I might need help. Come here, baby. Come here, Teddy. Come here, Teddy. So one of Tilly's babies does not have blue eyes. Out of the seven babies, six of them have blue eyes. She's smelling just to make sure because he looks so much like the other ones. She's like, are you my baby? <laughs>
my gosh. <laughs> more babies, Lola. <laughs> You're going to have more friends. These two are now set not are now never separated. Look, your girlfriend's running off. Hi, baby. <laughs> we should have called Winston Simba. He reminds me of a little lion cub, the way he just hops around. Winston. that that one more goat is pregnant i don't think i told you but we decided to breed rosie before the buck left um there are several ways to breed do to breed goats as long as they are seven months and above and a certain size then they're okay to breed them and a lot of people including myself believe that there are health benefits to breeding a little bit younger so some people wait till a year some people wait till, till a year and a half and some people will start at seven months or above seven months when rosie was almost eight months we decided to breed her before the buck left because she's a really good side they have to size they have to be like 85 or 95 percent of their dams like height and she definitely is and then they have to their hips have to be a certain width and i think it's like four and a half inches and there's a really easy way to measure that and so we measured her and she met all the criteria she also had to be a certain amount of pounds it's i think 50 pounds and she was 51 pounds so we decided to go ahead and breed her before the buck left um because we knew that it could be our very it could be our last chance with that buck so she is pregnant uh, she's doing a few months and hopefully and i mean hopefully there's a girl in there at least one girl she doesn't she's not looking huge but she's still really early yet so it's hard to tell um her mom had a single her first time so I'm guessing she'll probably have a single, but hopefully I have not had any dreams about Rosie. I've not had any dreams about Rosie or her babies. I've dreamed every of the other does and their babies. So I do not know what is going on in that belly, but we are going to have one more birth before the end of this season. And it's unfortunate that they'll be a few months apart because having them close together kind of makes things a little bit easier. I'm going to try and take everybody in now. It's going to be really hard because one, I've lost Mocha all their way out here in the sun, um, because I have to leave that door open because I have to carry the babies and hope the moms follow me. And by leaving that door open, it's gonna mean that the other goats are gonna try and come in. It's gonna be a disaster because Sophie's just too sick to come down. So wish me luck. I don't like that she tries to take these babies away. I mean, I know it's natural, but we have other moms that are a little more relaxed about the whole baby thing. It's hard to like get them friendly and to bond with us when mom tries to push them off. Come on, let's go this way. 
Oh, <laughs> everybody followed me. Don't do, don't you be, oh, that's her son. Yes, she had a baby, that's what happened. Everybody knows, you're the last to know. <laughs> Look at little Winston. He is still so cute. So, all you goat experts out there, tell me what you think. I think he's the nicest looking, and then this little Harley over here, this one over here, I think he's nice looking, confirmation wise, you can't really see him. But I think he's really cute and put together well, and then I think that little black one is really put together well. Hi big guy, Sophie's sick today, he's missing her. Sophie's sick, she's sick, yeah. This is way harder than it looks, <laughs> these are the... Oh, once I have to try and get out. Come on, out. Get out. Get out. 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 Get out. 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 Go. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Come on. Help. <laughs> I can't get them out. Anyway, that's it. Everybody is all tucked in. Good jobs out there today, Mama. Good job out there today, Mama. But we're going to have to work on you sharing your babies because it's not okay. <laughs> They're sleeping over there behind the box. And they climb on this box all day and all night. All right. Well, that's enough exercise for today. <laughs> Holy moly. Don't you know that you're beautiful?